Hello everyone, welcome again to one of our videos. Um, I feel that this, during this period, during this, um, these challenges that we're all facing together as a humanity, a lot of judgment is coming up. A lot of uh, criticism is coming up. And it's not just of others, it's of ourselves. So we may be judging what actions we've taken that have led us to where we are today, or um, criticizing decisions that we've made in the past. It's bringing up a lot of regret. It's bringing up a lot of uh, feelings of inadequacy. And all of these regrets, inadequacy, criticisms, all come back to judgment. So when we judge ourselves or when we judge others, we're doing it with a list of negatives. Yeah. So we're saying this should have been done this way. You're not doing this right. We could have done this better. It's a list of negatives. You failed at this. You didn't look at this option. You didn't consider this outcome. But judgment is not for us to do because we cannot possibly know what someone else is thinking, what someone else is envisioning, what has led someone to make the decision that they've made, what emotional considerations are um, in place. And the list goes on, of course. That's not for us to know. We cannot possibly know that. We can never enter someone else's mind. So what does judgment do, in fact? It makes us feel uncomfortable. It upsets us. It puts us in a very, very um, negative mindset. Okay? Whereas we shouldn't be even uh, entertaining that fact. And it's not just about someone else. And when we judge ourselves, we are demeaning and reducing the validity of the decisions that we've taken in the past that we took for some particular reason. Okay? Because we always have a choice. And we've always had a choice. And whenever we've made a decision or whatever uh, road we've taken that has led us to where we are today has been for a reason. It's either been to show us something, it's been a lesson, it's been for our growth. It was the right decision to take at that time. To backtrack now and judge ourselves for things that we've done in the past is of no use. And it's very, very uh, negative for ourselves. Because it shows that we don't have faith in ourselves for the decisions that we made. Or for the, the road that we've taken. No, we, we have to let go of judgment because judgment does not make us feel good. And it is not our place to judge. We can observe and we can try to understand what is driving behavior, our own and others. What we're trying to achieve or what they're trying to achieve or what they're hoping to achieve. We can observe. We can have an opinion, of course, because we're blessed with the freedom of thought and the freedom of our own opinion. But to judge and to, to put things into this negative mindset is not really um, of use for ourselves or for anyone else. And it doesn't allow us to grow. It doesn't allow our consciousness to expand. It limits us. It puts us in, in a situation of lack. So as we're, we're moving through and as we're expanding and as we're growing, okay, we can look and we can observe. We can take notes. We can grow. We can have opinions about whether we feel it's right or wrong for us. But to judge puts us in a lack mindset and it puts us in a negative mindset. And that's really not helpful, um, you know, during this period. So judging ourselves is probably a lot harder to catch than judging others. But if we can make it a practice to see when we do it and call ourselves up on it, um, and then it starts to put our mind into, 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 into working about how this operates, when we do it, why we do it, what it means for us, then we can start to shift ourselves out of that negative space. Thank you.